In this video, we will learn how to use differentiation when we have variable acceleration. The acceleration, velocity and displacement can be expressed as a function of time. And the acceleration, velocity and displacement are connected as rates of change. The velocity is the rate of change of displacement with respect to time. The acceleration is the rate of change of velocity with respect to time. So therefore, if we differentiate the displacement twice with respect to time, then we will get the acceleration. An easy way to remember their connection is by comparing their units. So looking at the units of the displacement, which is meters, meters can also be rewritten as meter times second to the power of zero, because anything to the power of zero is equal to one. So that's just equal to meters. Differentiating the unit of displacement with respect to seconds, we subtract 1 from the power of s. This becomes meter per second, or in other words, meter times second to the power of minus 1. And this is the unit of the velocity. Differentiating this, we subtract 1 from the power of s again, and this becomes meter per second squared, which is the unit of acceleration. A particle p is moving on the x-axis. At time t seconds, the displacement x meters from O is given by x equals t to the power of 4 minus 32 t plus 12. Find the velocity of p when t is equal to 3. Writing out the displacement as a function of time, we have x equals t to the power of 4 minus 32 t plus 12. To find the velocity, we have to differentiate this. The result is 4 t to the power of 3 minus 32. We are interested in the velocity when the time is equal to 3. We replace the value of t, so v is equal to 4 times 3 cubed minus 32, and this is equal to 76 meter per second. Part b, the value of time for which p is instantaneously at rest. The keyword here is instantaneously at rest, so v is equal to 0. Writing out the velocity as a function of time, we have v is equal to 4t cubed minus 32. Replacing v with a 0, we have 0 equals 4t cubed minus 32. t cubed is 8 and the t is equal to 2 seconds after we have cube rooted it. Part C. The acceleration of p when t is equal to 1.5. To find the acceleration as a function of time, we have to differentiate the velocity. The result is 12t squared. At t is equal to 1.5, replacing the t, we have a is equal to 12 times 1.5 squared. This gives us 27 meter per second. 